a quick look. Life after minus 35. The uh, ponds, uh, the heater had quit, but really it was the breaker had thrown and I didn't realize it. And so the pond during the ice cold uh, temperatures was still running. My main concern is always keeping the water running from pond to pond because that'll keep the ice down and keep oxygen. I'm not afraid of the cold water. The fish are well adapted, they're cold water fish, and there's no such thing as super chilling your pond water. That's a myth. Look at the hornwort after the minus 30. It's grown like crazy. There's a bunch of goldfish in this pond. And there's koi in that pond, and I got the top pond open. That's still hard to get at. Soon the covers will be off. <coughs> oh, there's the big koi. They're starting to move around. Some are coming up halfway from the five foot level. And they're looking great. They were in super cold, uh, probably barely above freezing, right? Because when the temperature, when the breaker threw and there was no uh, heater there for a couple days in the minus 30 and then the minus 20, I had maybe half covered of ice. But the fish were fine because the pumps kept running. That's the main thing, bringing fresh water and taking away uh, the old... Uh, gases that might build up under the ice can be expelled and fresh oxygen can be replenished. Fish all look good and the ice cold water is good for the koi and the goldfish. It knocks off all the parasites and diseases. That's why I never get parasites and diseases. My fish are never sick and I've been doing this since 1991 so I think I know what I'm doing. The run, this pump is ran all winter. They run and they pump from the bottom and the fish are fine. There's a gold, this is mostly goldfish down there. The water's nice and clear. And the uh, hornwort is just doing fabulous right there. Just fabulous with the running water. And soon I'll groom away the old stuff when I take the uh, frames off. Because spring is here, I'll be cleaning out the pumps to get the pumps going faster because it's only like minus 8, minus 10 now at night and soon it'll be March. I like to have the covers off and all the pumps going full steam with the ball spinning uh, because that is best for the pond and the fish. Okay, stop worrying about freezing your fish. You can't freeze them. You can only freeze them in the ice or smother them if the pond surface becomes covered in ice. But the running water will never kill them. That's why the fish do so well in the rivers. And the rivers de-ice much faster than the lakes because of the running water, right? Running water will bring fresh oxygen, cut down the ice, and... That's all you really need when it's only minus 10 to 15. Minus 30, I usually have the heater plugged in, but like I said, there a couple days ago when it was really cold, the breaker had thrown in the basement and I didn't realize it. But look, the fish are just fine.